Welcome back troglodytes to another episode of Trogly's Guitars. Today we have a very, very beautiful wine red Les Paul Custom from 1993. It almost kind of appears purplish at some angles. It's a very dark wine red, sometimes referred to as oxblood. So it's a very cool finish and that's why I bought this one because I've never quite seen a wine red with this exact finish from this era. I thought it was very cool looking, almost purple as I said before. Overall, I mean it's a player's grade condition guitar, it's got some replaced upgrade parts and uh, it's a great player, so let's get down to it. As you can see the face of the headstock has yellowed with age, I mean it actually looks pretty good. Overall, you don't have too many scratches, nicks or dings or anything like that. It's a fairly clean guitar. There is a very small indentation like right there. If you can see that in the light there. But overall, not too bad. The nut has been replaced. It kind of looks like nylon, but um, it might be bone. I'm not 100% sure. It looks like there is some very minor wear and tear from uh, that nut change along there, similar to that silver burst. But luckily on this one, uh, there isn't any major finish damage to the guitar from that nut change process. The frets are in good shape. They show very minor wear and tear, and the frets are still fairly tall. I mean, definitely not your 70s, 80s frets. They've got a little bit more life to them. And the ebony fretboard is in great shape as well. I've just oiled it and I cleaned the frets and all that. It's a great player. Now onto the body here. We've got some uh, explaining to do electronically. All of the electronics have been replaced on this guitar. The pots are 500K CTS pots with orange drop caps. And the whole entire cavity in there was shielded including the back plate there's some that copper tape stuff on it so you're good to go there the pickups are brand new 2017 i think they were just made like a, a month or so ago if i remember correctly i think it was in june yeah, that's very recently uh, they're 490r 498t which is very similar to what this guitar would have came in i believe in this era they just had a set of 490s that those had came out in 1990 and this is 93 so essentially you have the same pickups they're just newer uh, the tuners have been changed to locking grovers you can kind of see at the uh, top here they don't quite stand up as much as regular grovers and on the back here uh, you've got to unscrew this part to release the string when you're doing a string change but uh, tuning stability is awesome and since everything's been properly shielded and grounded, you don't have any buzzing or any of that other garbage. So this is a great stage guitar. So once again, the new nut, but everything else on this guitar is stock. We'll run the light along here so you can kind of see the condition. It's definitely a played guitar, not one for the collector. It's got lots of light nicks and dings here as they're showing up. As I bring the light around here. Uh, major ones obviously are right here in this area where you know some guy's been playing with his bracelet and ching 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 uh, it looks like you have some wear under here not from a big B or anything though just a light little ding and just your average you know picking swirls and marks but nothing overly too bad that you couldn't polish out but it's just such a gorgeous color. I really like this one. It's really, really close to black. Like at certain angles, it does appear black. Back of the headstock. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. You can see some dust because of the dark finish. But uh, serial number is 9048-3381, which makes it a very early 1993. Some light wear along the edges there. And that's just fingerprint marks because I'm handling it. I hate dark guitars for that reason. They show everything. Light wear and tear to the neck. Uh, I would say uh, it's kind of a medium profile. I would say closer to 60s. but similar to that standard that I had yesterday that apparently Gibson thinks is a 50s styled neck. So it's got a little bit more to it. I mean it's not super thin but 
not, not enough for me to call it a 50s. The back of the guitar does have some buckle rash here, mainly in this general area, as you can see once I get it in the light. But, I mean, it's a player's guitar. It's had player's modifications. A player's gonna get this one and really enjoy it. Uh, the sides of the guitar are in fairly good shape. Very light wear and tear. But overall, I mean, this is a really nice custom. 90s customs in general are great. Some of them have crazy flame tops. Other ones just have really nice finishes to them. And this is a very, very nice guitar. Face of the headstock under black lights looking pretty good. It looks like there might have been a uh, sticker or something there at one point in time. You can see that rectangle outline that I'm kind of highlighting there. And it looks like during the nut change process, there was a little bit of touch up there. When they took the original nut off, it probably took the original finish with it. You really can't tell unless you hit it under black light there. But the side of the neck is good. Now onto the face of the guitar here, you can kind of see some finish breaking areas. Um, it looks like they might have been touched up, not just finish break areas. So you got a few little touch ups here on the front. Looks like right there as well. But overall, nothing really to worry about. Those touch ups just make the guitar mo look more uniform. And they're not really hiding anything besides dings. Back of the guitar, this is take two. I did not know this before filming this, but the back of the neck has been refinished. I just got done notifying the seller of a refinished back of the neck, so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to offer this one for sale, but definitely watch out just in case the seller doesn't disclose this on reverb. But yes, it does look like the back of the neck has been refinished here, and as you can see from far away, uh, that is not an even glowing finish, that means this has been touched up. Now why has it been touched up? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, the finish is a little bit too dark for me to see if there's a really, really good repair there. But I'm a little bit concerned when it comes to the uh, neck joint here. You can kind of see where uh, it looks like the finish was touched up around here as well. Now that could just be because when they refinished the neck they didn't tape it off very well and uh, the finish just kind of bled onto there. Or maybe the neck was separated from the body at one point in time and needed touched up. I'm not 100% sure. All I can say is it is a good playing guitar. There's nothing wrong with it. Why ever this was done I'm not 100% sure but I definitely want you guys to know about it. Whether I'm selling the guitar for a cheap price or if it goes back to the original seller I definitely want you guys to know of these issues. Uh, but the back of the guitar is uh, good. I mean, it glows the way it should. You've got some very light uh, wear here. It looks like maybe a very, very tiny touch up. It's kind of hard to show that. But it does look like a uh, small bubbling or something like that. Uh, the side of the uh, neck joint here looks pretty good, but it's just that pocket area there that's a little suspicious. But the uh, sides are good here. sides are good so yes uh, neck has definitely been refinished this one weighs 10 pounds 7 ounces uh, just to be clear the uh, pickup rings have also been replaced as soon as I got this guitar I knew they had been replaced because modern day plastics and the uh, gold coverings just look a little bit different this guitar does appear to have its original Gibson USA brown case with it still it's it's seen better days as you can see uh, it's got a uh, blue steel sticker here uh, the combination lock here has been uh, ripped off but i guess the combination is 137 if you ever do install a new lock there uh, the handle has been busted off and replaced with this cheap thing i i really don't trust it it looks like it's about ready to rip itself right there so plan on uh, putting a new handle on this again <laughs> but lots of wear and tear but all of the uh, latches appear to work except for uh, this one on the back it looks like it's missing its uh, strap to it but the back latch still works I'll take a look at the uh, back of the case here 
lots of wear and tear. This is definitely a heavily gigged guitar. So it would definitely make sense if it had some type of repair. Or maybe the finish was just worn off the back of the neck. I'm not 100% sure on this one. But the interior of the case is in pretty good shape. Uh, no like super funky smells or anything. Uh, you could probably use a sweeping. Uh, I'll probably do that before I ship it off to you. We but... will be demoing through a Marshall JMP 1C 1 watt tube amplifier.